Hey folks, on Target Training, up here today talking about a really fascinating revolver. This is the Kimber 6S. So it's a stainless steel six shot revolver, weighs 22 ounces, has an internal hammer, so it's a hammerless gun. Uh, it's really, I have to say, from a production standpoint, fit, finish, uh, it's really nice. Now one of the things that makes this trigger, what it is, is it's so smooth, so as we press through the trigger here, right, it's heavy, but it comes to a point there's a, a break, so it's almost as if you can stage the trigger and come up to this point and then one more press, it's there. That last little bit of press feels super smooth, so the trigger to me is butter. So let me just run this a couple of times. It's just fantastic. Now, if you look at the gun itself in terms of the cylinder release here, right, we've got a button that's sort of flush, almost flush against the gun, but it's really fantastic. In case of the sights, we've got black on black, low uh, profile, low snag. The gun is a natural pointer, so as you come out to point, that front sight is pretty much right on where you want it. So what we're going to do today is just shoot a little bit. Special shout out to my friend Steve for calling me up the other day and letting me know he just acquired this gun. Kimber started making these in 2016 and there aren't a lot of them out there so I was really excited to get a chance to shoot it. We're going to do our typical range test, shorter distances, we'll shoot some steel and just give you our general impressions. This is a 357 Magnum so we'll shoot a few rounds of 357 Magnum but mostly we're going to shoot two different bullet weights in the 38 Special, 125 grain bullet, so they're moving a little faster, as well as 158 grain bullet. So we're going to shoot those and get to it right now. So out there about five yards, we have some dots that are out there, two inch dots. And uh, these targets were supplied to us by Easy to See, so shout out to them for sending us these targets to use. So again, five yards, I'm just gonna work, I have not shot the gun, I'm gonna work nice, slow press through the trigger, see if I can figure out just how to roll the trigger in a nice, smooth, double action press here. So, again, you know, never sh having shot the gun, we're about five yards away. Not a bad group, considering I don't know the trigger at all and we're shooting a double action trigger. So I'm gonna reload, I'm gonna try it again, see if I can slow down just a little bit to find that, take out the slack, and then there's a, a specific stage there, see if I can break that almost like a single action trigger. One thing I would say about this gun is we're shooting 158 grain bullets. This is some remanufactured ammo from Freedom Munitions. The, re, the felt recoil is very, very soft. And so if you're someone who is recoil averse or just uncomfortable, doesn't want to shoot a snubby or own a snubby because of the recoil, specifically if you're shooting an air weight, something like that from Smith & Wesson or an aluminum frame or scandium frame gun, this full, full weight 22 ounce revolver makes a huge difference in terms of mitigating that recoil. So again, five yards away, I'm gonna work very hard. We'll change dots out there and see if we can do any better. I'm gonna stage the trigger right to this point. There we go, we're getting them in there. So we've got one, a one inch little group there. And that's because of the fact I can take all the slack up in the trigger to the point where there's the wall and then press through that. Now from a defensive standpoint, I don't think we'd be doing it. I think we'd just be working on rolling the, the trigger straight back through. 
But I have to say that if you want to shoot some accuracy, again, five yards, that's not bad for a two inch revolver. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna shoot a couple more. I'm gonna try to shoot a little faster and just see how I'm doing more from a combat standpoint, put a couple of rounds in. Uh, in a general area, and then we'll shoot a little bit of steel. So far, I'm super impressed with the gun, especially with its accuracy. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just a couple of press out, pressed. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is from this ready position, I'm gonna press out, fire two shots, and we'll see if we can keep them, you know, combat effective accuracy here. Right? So again, five yards away, they're in the palm uh, of my hand. So from a combat effective accuracy standpoint, I think it would totally do the job. Great help, uh, home defense gun potentially, or even a carry gun. So the next thing we're gonna do is we'll get out, uh, shoot some steel, give you guys a chance to see that. Really impressed with this little Kimber. All right guys, we are 10 yards from our six inch steel plates. Okay, folks, we're 15 yards from our steel gong. This is a 12 inch steel gong. So I think I missed one out of that. These black on black sights with my older eyes are a little bit challenging. I might, if this were my gun, actually paint the front sight white. It would allow me to pick it up a little faster and really find a good sight picture. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot a little bit of 357. I'll shoot five or six rounds of 357, give you guys a chance to shoot that. The 38 Special, at least in these 158 grain reloads, um, feel great. Okay, we've got a combination now of 357 and 38 Special. We'll see if you guys can tell which is which. I'm sure on my end I'll be able to tell. That was 357. 357. 38 special, 357, 38 special, 38 special, well folks thanks so much for checking in again this beautiful little revolver is the Kimber 6S. Six shot, 357, 38 special revolver, 22 ounces, stainless steel, nice rubber grip, absorbs some of the recoil. In all the shooting that we did today though, we shot about 150 rounds through the gun, I never felt like it was too much. Now, Shooting a bunch of 357 Magnums, 100 rounds or something, it might be too much at that point. But from the little bit that we did, and I, I don't know, we did 24 or so 357 rounds, they felt great. Even the hotter 125 grain bullets, 38 Special, that had a fair amount of muzzle flash that you may have seen, uh, even those were relatively soft shooting. And again, because of the weight of the gun, stainless steel revolver, very, very uh, comfortable to shoot. Good trigger, great fit and finish, really, really impressed with this. Again, I want to thank Steve for the use of this gun and also for his friendship. And finally, to all of you, stay safe.